What's up people, Dobsy Wars is right here and welcome to part 3 of my game collection. Well, last time I got interrupted when I was about to start the third part so I thought why not do it now whilst no one's here. But if someone does pop up, it's going to go straight onto photographs so I'll be taking pictures of different things that I've got and to show you a little, little bit about it. But without, without further ado, let's get started shall we? Time to go on to the other side of this table. Okay, within this other box right here, it contains all my remotes that I would really need. Some of them I need to get them fixed and everything because they're getting a bit fragile because they've been with me for the, for the rest of my life. But some of them are pretty much brand spanking new that they've never been really being played or touched since I've had them. So um, anytime when a remote gets smashed by someone or it gets fragile and it starts to break, I've got an extra one to keep myself going. So that's just what's in there. Main things that are in there, I mean, you know, the Nintendo 64, Xbox, all the game consoles that I actually do own. And also to tell you as well, I forgot to tell you as well, I have an Atari 2600. Let me just take you to it right now. It's right here with a few games, but I do have other games as well which are in there. Which I will show you probably in pictures, maybe. Depends on how I feel. But anyhow, that's that one there done. Now let's see what's in here, shall we? <laughs> In this box we contain, oh yes, Xbox original games, mainly the ones that I'll mainly play all the time are always on the top. Every single one of them that I show you has all my favourite games that are on the top, like here, I always play that all the time, Silent Hill 4, The Room, uh, one of my personal favourite characters in the old days of Rare, Conker's Live and Reloaded because I don't have Conker's Bad Fur Day because that is hard to grab. One of the most scariest games I played, Project Zero 2, the Crimson Butterfly Director's Cut. And I saw um, Project Zero 2 on the PS2 um, yesterday and that was 35 quid in CEX. So I don't know how much that one costs. It might be less, it might be more because it's a Director's Cut. Also the classic Doom 3, which is great. Uh, Tim Burns Nightmare Before Christmas, The House of the Dead 3, Burnout 3, Blood Omen 2, Dead or Alive. 3 and the Ultimates, uh, Star Wars Battlefield, Battlefront, Fable, I don't play Fable 2 or Fable 3 because that just ruined it, seriously, it ruined it so damn bad, but that's what's all in there, all the rest of the stuff you want to know, what's down there is like all the conflicts, all the war games and everything, Rainbow Six, I think that was what Xbox was trying to do, um, trying to bring all the shooter players into their game console, but mainly some of the games actually flopped in the Xbox original. Except for Halo 2, you know, Halo original. A few other good shooting games, but most of the war games were a big massive flop to my liking. But that's that box. We've got two boxes left on this side, and then you've got this big massive tower right here. So let's carry on looking, shall we? In this box, which is up here, contains the GameCube games. And yes, you see it right now. One of the most rarest ones on the GameCube, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I've been trying to look for this game for so damn bad and when I saw it cheap, I went for it no matter what. I had to take the chance. And also I had myself three Japanese GameCube games. got Pikmin 2, Legend of Zelda Four Swords and Rave Race. Don't know why I've got them but I do have an adapter to play in retro games. I got some Medal of Honor that I got a few days ago. You got some good Mario games, Luigi, Pokemon Coliseum, Donkey Kong Kongas, Sphinx, which I always do love to play. Uh, Sonic Mega Collection is always a good game to get as well. And then some of the very rare ones like Legend of Zelda, the Collector's Edition. Very worth getting if you ever do find them because they will make you money if you want to sell them instantly. You always will get your money back no matter what. So that's your GameCube lot right there. If you really want, this is the thing I want to tell you right now, people. If you want me to show you an exact amount of cut games I have up for a particular console, I will, but I have to do it very discreetly without my family knowing on what I'm doing. So there's that. What's in that one though? I, if I remember, this is the Xbox 360 game, so let's have a gander. Right, within this box I was correct. This was the Xbox 360 box and once again, always my personal favourites are always on the top. Well, I don't play a lot of Xbox 360 games but if I really do, I play my, my, the very best to my liking. Like The Godfather 2, Far Cry, Prototype 2, this is a very good game to get, Ghostbusters. It is quite fun but it's not the best. 
Call of Duty 2, like you do, it's one of my personal favourite Call of Duty's ever been made. Forget about World of Warcraft and um, World of War. Forget about Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 3. Mod uh, Modern Warfare, all them type of games or Call of Duty, they're not the best. You've got to go for the original 3. I got myself some limited editions right here, Gears of War 2 limited edition. Uh, Project Zero limited edition. I've got a few limited editions here. I've got a box, um, yo, in the movies that's never been opened. So there's a few things there, like the last word, Remention, Duke Nukem, God of War, um, World, um, Gears of War 3, Bioshock Infinite, and uh, this weird Halo 3. This one, I have no idea about it. It looks awkward, but it turns out this is like an limited edition box, but. I have no idea. If you guys un know what it is, please tell me because I have no idea. To me, I think it um, might be a prototype box, but it might be just a fake box, but it has the real game inside it, but I don't have a clue. Right, so that's what's in there. Let's see about these three, shall we? Hmm, I wonder what's in these. I don't even remember. <laughs> might be a surprise for myself. Let's have a look. Within this game, within these boxes, right, these two, I actually looked in it myself before I recorded it, see if it was anything special, and it actually is something special. In these two boxes, you contain yourself some Sega Mega Drive games. And, I want this little thing here. This is the next game, Donkey Kong game. It's a little tiny Mr. Gamer Watch pad, I've never seen one of these before, and it's still sealed, it's never been opened, so uh, I don't know if that fetches off for a bit of money. You got the classic NBA Jam. It's one of the one of the greats of um, Sega Mega Drive. People love getting that. Busby, Super WrestleMania, Fantasia. One of my personal favourite games on the Sega Mega Drive. I always play this every time, and that's the Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Don't judge me, people. It's an amazing game. If you guys have not played it, I encourage you guys to play it if you do have a chance. And then right here, I do have the system, but I've never wired it up, and that is the Sega Master System 2. I've got California Games, uh, Shinobi, Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, what's the last one? Uh, Marble Madness. So, not a lot of games for the Master System 2, but the Sega Mega Drive, I have tons of them, so uh, there's that. Well, you have seen it before, if I remember. I don't, have I showed you the Mega Drive games yet? I don't think I have. That hey, that might be a bit of a spoiler alert, people, that I have actually have more than that. And then in this box contains, wait for it, da -da 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 -da, the Nintendo DS games. This is not all of them, alright people? I kept some of them out of the way, i.e. the Pokemon DS games like Pokemon Platinum, Diamond and Pearl. You get my drift. I don't have Heart Gold or Soul Silver. I was that stupid that I didn't buy them, and now that they are so damn expensive, I can't even afford to get in them. But as you guys see, I have the, my personal favourites at the top, like uh, you know the Yu-Gi-Ohs, Luma Arch. Now, if you guys have not played this game, definitely go and play it. It is worth a play, and plus, it is made by Atlas, so uh, you might be struggling to pay a nice bit of money for it. But underneath, as you can see, you got some Pokemon games either way. As you know. Oh yeah, they are here. Okay, never mind. We have them all here. You know, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Black 2, Mystery Dungeons, Pokemon Rangers, another Mystery Dungeon, the Eclipse of Darkrai. Oh no, the Eclipse of Darkness. I thought it said Darkrai then. Um, Wario, um, Master of Disguise, Sonic Rush, which I always played it all the time. Legend of Zelda and the Spirit Tracks, which is actually a good game as well, if you have not played it yet, so I encourage you guys to play it. Sherlock Holmes, which is always good, um, and some very big boxes like Band Hero. Don't ask me why I have these, I just have them. Uh, Bakugan and uh, another Guitar Hero, the um, Dec um, Ontar Decades, I don't know. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Spirits Collar, which is my personal favourite Yu-Gi-Oh! game that's been made. Ever since, you know, after um, oh, what was it called? Duelist of the Roses. My, that was my personal favourite all the way through until the DS came out because Duelist of the Roses, I always played it all the time on the PS2. Before that, it was um, Yu Gi Oh! and it was it Forbidden Memories on the PS1. It was an amazing game. But that's done three boxes. What's on the one on the right of the top, shall we? Let's have a look, shall we? 
In this box, this actually weighed a lot. I, had to, I was struggling to carry it onto here because uh, it is quite a bit of a weight. And what's inside it? It's the Sega Mega Drive games. And as you guys know, it's my personal favourites that I always play all the time, all always off the top. I have myself Jurassic Park Rampage Edition, Earthworm Gym 2, which is very worth getting your time to get one of these games because whew, you'll never see them ever since when they go on to sale everything. You got Chick Chick Boys, which was like a Japanese anime game if I recall. And look at the prices at the back and how much I paid for it. £1.49 and it's on eBay for 15 quid. I do not know what's going on with these like shops I go to, you know, cash converters. If you go to cash converters or anything like that, I would encourage you guys to pick these games up, research them and sell them like that before they go. Well, pretty much I go to them every single day when I'm not working, so I always get the best stuff. Tailspin, which is always a good game. Streets of Rage, Alex Kidd, Echo the Dolphin. Uh, one of my personal favourite fighting, well it's not really a fighting game, but it's like Castlevania. And that is Ghouls and Ghosts. Always a good game to play and have a go at it. A favourite of mine that was a movie, Robocop vs Terminator. Definitely, I would encourage you guys to play that. Same thing with Toy Stories, but Robocop and Terminator. Definitely, definitely, definitely be played out every day, people, when I had a chance. And it's still one of my personal favourites. Not as much as Sonic the Hedgehog and Earthworm Jim and uh, Tailspin and um, Streets of Rage and etc, 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 but yeah, it is quite a collection for the Sega Mega Drive. So, that's that box there. Let's move on to the second shelf, shall we? Let's see what's in these. If there isn't anything in there, I won't show you. But, let's see if we do. Within this box, sorry about for the little stains right here, but it's just that this box has been with me for quite a long time. And it contains all my Wii games that I've collected. And yes, there are some really stupid, obscure games knocking about in this collection. The reason why, because the Wii held very rare games in the past, as you guys already know with Xenoblade Chronicles and all the other games like that. And they still fetch off a pretty penny, like um, one of my personal favourite Pokemon games, Pokemon Battle, from, um, Battle Revolution, which is always a good game to obtain. Uh, Mario Kart Wii, of course, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Punch-Out. Punch-Out was a hard one for me to find because I was always looking for this game. Never ever found it until I found it in the bloody car boot. Of course a car boot. Um, also as well people, if you find the Metro Prime Collection, I would encourage you guys to get it instantly. You'll always get yourself your money back in the near future. I see it in game as a pre-owned game and it's fetching you off for £50 for a pre-owned game. If it was brand new, probably £100 you'd be getting it for. But hey, I digress. That's why I don't own it. One of my personal favourite dancing games is Michael Jackson The Experience. Don't judge me, people, that I like Michael Jackson. He's the king of pop, for goodness sakes, and he's an amazing dancer. And that game always made me lose weight when I was a kid, alright? So stum your lip. Same thing with Just Dance 3 and Just Dance 1. I don't have two, but I do have four. You you know what I mean. Um, the special edition, the 25th anniversary of Legend of Zelda, the Skyward Sword, also containing the... CD that has never been played. When this was brand new, I opened it and I went straight to the game and I never ever played the CD. It is still in mint condition. Also, I actually went to iTunes and I got the soundtrack instead so I didn't have to play it. Um, in this empty box here, I was a bit of ashamed of myself but I got this in the car boot. I never got it brand new and that was Twilight Princess. It is the cheaper version out of them all, you know, out of the Wii U and the GameCube. The GameCube one is the most expensive, which fetches you off for £50. Maybe a bit less now because, you know, a few years later now because they're remastering it. Epic Mickey, Epic Mickey 2 is the most expensive one out of the, both of them, so you know that. This is quite rare to find. Super Mario All-Stars, the four game collection in one disc. Yeah, 25th anniversary game. Definitely worth getting. A disaster, which is good. Um, also with this, if you get the baby, which I do have, it fetches off for a bit, bit of a pretty penny. Uh, what else is knocking about here? Uh, the uh, Secret Flowers, which is always good. House of the Dead, Ghost Squad. Anything around here. 
Oh yeah, Code Yoko. Code Lyoko, which is a fun, fun series. If you guys have not watched that show, definitely go and watch it if you find it. Soul Calibur Legends, which is great. Um, and that other Atlas game, I always get my Atlas games because they are hard to come by. These ones aren't, but uh, in the near future they will do when they get bins. You know, NCIS, I love my CSI and NCIS. But right underneath them all contains like the obscure games that uh, don't worth a lot, like Red Steel and Carnival, they don't worth anything. Guitar Hero 3, Guitar Hero 5. Uh, Wii Music works a little bit. ABBA, you can dance. Well, no, you do not want to dance to ABBA. You don't want to unless you're dancing Queen. <laughs> but that's that box that contains the Wii games. Let's see what's in the other box, shall we? In this one, people, to tell you right now, these are what's left from my PS3 collection that's up there. They're the ones I told you that I play all the time. But the ones that I've finished, and I don't really play them a lot anymore, but still are quite rare, I stick them in here. So, let's have a look. Holy mother duck! <laughs> Jesus, good heavens above! How many PS3 games have I obtained in my life, of my career on gaming? As you guys know, that was the very first PS3 game I ever got, Little Big Planet. Everybody does own that all the time, if you guys did own one. And then right underneath all here are all like the very rare slash obscure limited edition games and all that lot. Like I've got the whole collection of the Dead Islands, Who Do You Voodoo Bitch, which is awesome. All the Resistance, also the limited edition Resistance 3, Steel Case, same thing with Quantum Solace, Alien vs Predator, um, Infamous, which is a very obscure one. Look at that, that's a cool special edition. It's a very small box, if you guys would say. So there's that. Actually, no, I'll stick it back where right there. I have the um, Game of the Year edition of Fallout 3, The Sleeved or Kane and Lynch. This game here, I was shocked about. World of Outlaws Sprint Cards. This game is a fortune, if you guys want to know. You can still fetch yourself for 30 quid that game right now, pre owned. So you get my drift. You got Naughty Bear. Um, Lewis Suit Larry, which is really good. You got Never Dead, Demon Souls, and then you got the Orange Box, which is actually quite a fun game if you guys would like to feature that all the time. Which is Half Life Episode 2, Team Fortress Number 2, and Portal, which are three of the most hardest games to actually come by right now. And speaking of Portal, I got myself Portal 2 as well, which is also great to obtain. And also again, that's actually coming back as a remaster, Valkyria Chronicles, which I still never beat. Which is a shame, because that game was actually a good story, and I still never finished it. And like, she, like I said already, people, the stuff that are underneath is like the stuff that I never really play anymore, so you get my drift. So that's all I have to say about these PS3 games, but is there anything else? I do not know. We'll find out soon enough. Let's give, carry on looking. Before I continue with these last little boxes down here, I don't think there's not a lot in, down there because that's why it's covered in trash. But over here are more PS3 games. I forgot to show you these before I was going to carry on. So in this little box, these are all the games that I still need to play. That's right, that's how I've been doing it. It's like if I've still got games to play, I put them in these boxes and I put them next to my couch so I know what's the next game to play. And a lot of these are like very long, hard games. So, well, some of them aren't, but some of them, they look like they're going to be long, hard games. Like this one, this is a three game collection, so you know that's going to be a damn long game. Once again, for this one, you got yourself Devil May Cry, the HD collection, one, two, and three, the special edition as well. Definitely, once again, that's going to be a long game because it's three games. And some of these, I don't even remember buying them, but I know that um, they are hard to come by. So, if you guys have seen them and, you've, and if you have actually played them, please tell, please tell me and tell me if they were good or that, were they bad. But I have a lot of them because they look like they're anime games, so I knew that they were going to be quite rare. So there is a few games there that I like to play, like this one, Sherlock Holmes. Always love playing Sherlock Holmes. This one I've always wanted to play, Lost Dimension by Atlas. It looks like a fun game and I cannot wait to play that as well 
Then you've got Soldier Soul, which is cool to obtain. Very cool. Actually, wait a minute. Did I get that? I think I did for the PS4. I don't remember. Oh my god, I do. <laughs> oh dear. Whoops. Never mind. I've got two of them. Doesn't matter. I'll carry on. Carry on as usual. And then let's see them out in this box. Once again, now these ones are like very um like hot, like easier games to go through. So you got blink. Uh, Bring Commence, Dark Void, now Dragon's Crown, another Atlas game, it looks like a fun game as well. Monkey's Island, that's hard to get to come by. Hellboy, um, El Shidaya, which once again that's another game I've never heard from. Dimension, Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, which is very good to get. Eternal Sonata, Star Ocean International, The Burya, Legendary. Desire 3 and Desire 2D, I mean um, D2. What else is in these? Oh, DS games and Xbox 360s. Okay, now these ones I've actually obtained lately, so uh, so you got Super Smash Bros, Super, um, Mario Kart 2D, Bowser's Inside Story, Worms 2, Magic of the Gathering. That looks like an awesome game. Some of the, once again, these like games I've not played yet, so I've got to go and play them soon as. And then for the final box, yeah! More games! And these ones are ones that I definitely want to be playing next, and that is Blaze Blue, um, Persona 3 Ultimax. Once again, I've got another Final Fantasy X 2. I mean, I mean 13 2 without the game, because I still need to look for one for that. So that's nothing, but I've already played it. This was something different, I've never seen that before and it looks like a good game. Battle Enforcer, another game that I've not played yet. Still very obscure games I've got, and plus Saw 2, I cannot wait to play that. Cross Edge, and uh, this weird obscure game. I've never seen this before and uh, I've not seen it ever since when I got it. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy that I obtained it. So that's all the PS3 games mainly that I do own, and they are like the last ones that I will be playing until I probably find more in the um, bargain bin. If you want to know what's in here, there's nothing, okay? And same thing in that little box there, they're just for like, if I find loose DS games or anything like that, and I need to play them, I just stick them in there and I know what's next to play. So you know how much time I have to do it to play my games and plus how much time I don't have to play them because I'm, I'm working so half of them might not even be played. So now that's that done, what's in there? Let's have a look. Okay now the final box people because down there contains like wires and on the other side it's magazines from WWE and uh, the WWF magazines from years ago. So uh, you don't want to see them, there's just a few little mags, so uh, you get my drift. But this is the final box people, and then I'm going to show you some Atari 2600s. They're a very, very small collection, but I know where they are, so I will show you them very soon. Well, just after this actually, so what's in here, shall we? Okay, so you have here a boxed PlayStation 2 Lighting DVD remote for your DVD player, whatever you want to use it for. I don't know why I've got it, I just do. <laughs> uh, steering wheel for your Wii, my personal favourite Zapper, which is always a good one for me to use. I always use it for Resident Evil 4. Some spare straps if I needed more players. I got the pistol that was for good for the House of the Dead. Um, Overkill, which is still one of my personal favourite zombie games. You know, um, you know, speed shooters. Uh, the light gun, which is good, and down here. Uh, some DVDs and, CD and CDs that I actually played, you know, watched all the time. Uh, this was my old camera, one of my old cameras. I don't use it anymore, as you guys already know. And right here, this is the beginning of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, you know, finding out how much they cost. This was the 2007 price guide, uh, price guide, and you could tell how much money some of the cards cost in the past. Let me try and find a particular card, shall we? Uh, let's see. 
I'm just really, really wondering. So right there, a Dark Magician from Yugi's starter deck from the very beginning. If it was limited, it was, if it was unlimited, meaning it was silver squared, it'd be four quid. If it was a first edition, six quid. Oh my god. And then you had Kaiba's star deck. If it was first edition blue wise, it'd been 11 quid. Wow, that was quite expensive in the past. And then right here I have a uh, fake Final Fantasy X-2 game. I, uh, well, it's just, it doesn't play at all. I just have it there either way. I'm just showing you a few little things, all right, people. So uh, if you don't want to see this bit, you can skip to the Atari. So I've got Pio Andre. These are things that I actually listen to when I don't have enough time, when I have a bit of time for myself. Robson Green and Jeroma. Um, the Queen, Meatloaf, you know, like a bat of the hill, big old one in the morning come. Um, England expects, you know, this was for the football and everything. I don't know why I still have it. It's pretty much it was my dad's. Um, I still have a sealed Titanic because I don't even have a chance to watch it yet. I still haven't had the chance to do it. I might watch it tonight, probably. The Young Ones, it's always a good show to watch. South Park 8. One of my personal favourite series, it's so good. Um, every single episode of Sonic the Hedgehog of Underground. I love that show, it's a bit, it's awesome. The Goonies, Full Monty, South Park, and one of the most funniest slash offensive films ever been produced in the United Kingdom, Four Lions. If you guys do not understand this, to tell you right now what it's all about. It's about people in England want to be suicide bombing terrorists. And yeah, that's the picture I'm going to leave you with. What the hell is this show, this film all about? And if you guys still haven't seen it yet, it has been out for quite a while, definitely go and watch it. You will laugh your ass out I'm pushing out myself a wee cleaner because sometimes my wee gets a bit dirty so I clean it so pretty much that's what's in that box that is the last lot of my stuff you might be thinking god man that was a long 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 big massive collection that you own are you still gonna collect absolutely I'm still gonna collect I'm never gonna stop until I have really no money left <laughs> Yeah, but, um, well, that's, you know, when I come back to Tokyo, I'm going to go back to saving up again, you know, probably to go, so I can go back to Tokyo or something, you don't know what could happen. Or I might want to go to a different country, I might want to go back to uh, Greece. Remember Greece? My God, that was a fun holiday. I loved that place to bits, and I still would go again. Probably go and see Sakis again, you don't know. Uh, how did I get this box sorted? I don't know, just leave it like that, whatever. But that's that lot there. I've shown you the Atari and I've shown you about two games, if I recall. But, where's the other stuff? It's in there. This is where I'm going to cut my voice down and I'm going to go into commentary. So, let's show you the Atari game, shall we? See you guys then. Actually, I feel like I should commentate this because, uh, actually, Northern's still not here, actually. So, they're right down here, if you guys want to know. These are my little tiny collection I own and also I actually do own another Atari this is the original from the I think that the early 80s or the late 70s if I recall it's one of the originals and it still is functional because I look after it so much that's why it stays in a little shoe box and stays underneath so nothing damages it me and my big mouth <laughs> that's that there and then in here are just my little small collection of Atari games because it's a small collection I because I don't really collect it a lot yet because I haven't got it even wired up yet but these are like the obscure games that I don't really go for a lot so uh, you have Warlords, Defender, Breakout, Street Racer, Star Raiders, um, Star, um, Space Invaders Another Space Invaders is Junior Pac-Man, which sadly is damaged. It don't really play a lot, which is a shame, because it is a good game. Combat, the Smurfs, Pole Position, and Pac-Man. Yes, Pac-Man is not an expensive game. Same thing with Asteroids. 
But that's down there, but these are the most rare games. So you have yourself Dig Dug, very good game. Then you have yourself Cubert. If you guys have seen Wreck It Ralph, you'll know this character very well. And funny enough, Nintendo's own Mario Bros on the Atari. This was quite surprising that the Mario Bros started on the Atari, people. Also, it doesn't stop there. Also, Donkey Kong. Oh, yeah. But the main prize possession of the Atari is the most one of the most rarest games to find. E.T. Oh, God. The nightmares are flooding. Angry video game nerd, you better be scared. Because you've got another person wanting to play another game that is a pal of dog shit. <laughs> but still, I wanted to get this game because it's that damn rare. And I didn't pay a lot for it, actually. I only paid about 10 quid for that game. Which contained a few other games and plus the console. Because the guy did not want the Atari anymore. And he wanted to sell it that bad. So he gave me, so he sold it for a tenner for me in a car boot. Yeah, this is why I love doing car boots. Because I get all the great stuff. Uh, please focus again for me, please. I can't focus anymore. Okay, it's focused again. So, pretty much, people, that is my game collection. And also, if you guys want to know, I actually bought myself three more Amiibos. I got Wii Fit Trainer, Shovel Knight, and Greninja now out of the boxes. But, that, my friends, is the end of my collection. Three parts, three long parts of my game collection. If you guys would really want to know particularly on what type of games I have, you know, if you want to see a big massive long list of which ones I have so I can spread them all out, whatever, sure thing I will. But for now, that's all I'm going to show you. And... To tell you right now, people, I've almost hit the 300 subscribers. If I've already hit it, thank you very so much for the 300 subscribers. If this video comes out after it, because you know it is um, pre-made to upload it within the weeks. So with that being said, the people on the go see you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Right. Now with that being over, time to get back onto Castlevania.